This is going to be a very basic instruction video on how to use the panel of this inverter. Also in this instruction, I'm going to be showing um, sort of how to control this in a manual way, not uh, an automatic way that it would be configured to a computer and connected to a computer. There's a couple really important attributes to this, and that is um, knowing if you're in forward or in reverse, and also the speed or the, or the hertz that you have the, uh, the spindle running. And also with this configuration, we are only going to be showing you the functionality of, of the panel um, as we have just the AC uh, plugged in and the, um, the wires going to the, the spindle, the three wires that control the spindle. Uh, so we won't have a lot of information that, um, that maybe the manual will show, but it is basic manual uh, sort of setup and, and, and information. So to navigate around the, the various modes that we have here, you'll, you'll see that you have a run, you'll have a stop, uh, you'll have a jog, you'll have up and down arrow, you'll have a program set, and then you'll have the uh, sort of the menu select button. We're going to be using mainly the run and stop, the menu select, uh, the jog, and we'll be uh, maneuvering these, uh, these numbers with the up and down arrow. We have power, we have forward reverse, we have hertz, and the A and the ROTT, we have those in the manual that you can actually see some information um, uh, uh, while you're running the, uh, the spindle but we won't be getting into to that much. You'll have to go to your manual and, and find out how to how to connect those connect that up to the um, in the various ways you can to see the certain configurations. You will be able to see the uh, the revolutions um, or the 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 rotation of the of the spindle with the ROTT. We'll be looking at that. Uh, we'll be uh, selecting the hertz that we we require for the speed of the spindle, and we'll show you how to go from forward and reverse and back to forward. No matter what mode you're in, what, what sort of information you see here. If you press jog, you're going to be uh, moving from forward to reverse back to forward. So if you keep pressing jog, you're going to be going back and forth between forward and reverse. To change your input mode and also um, displaying information mode, I'm gonna, you have these three um, LEDs. You're going to press this button here to change between any of those. So if you keep pressing it and you're not in edit mode, you can, you can go from um, from ROTT to Hertz and A. In the manual, it shows you exactly what will be displayed or uh, what control you have for that. This is uh, happens to be Hertz and A happens to be DC voltage. Um, a and ROTT that will show you, I believe, the the AC voltage. And Hertz A ROTT will show you the internal temperature. And just showing Hertz will show you the set frequency or output frequency. For example, if we press Run while it's in this in this mode, we will actually see the frequency in hertz that the the motor is running so let's press run and you'll see the numbers start to increase and at this point we have it at 400 hertz output so it as it increases speed or uh, revolutions it'll show you that corresponding hertz and when i press stop you can see it's at 400 hertz if i press stop it will go back down to zero Now if I want to change the frequency, all I have to do is press one of these up or down arrows and it'll automatically go into um, the input mode for the frequency. So I could actually use this button again to change where the cursor is. So when I press the down arrow, you'll see because 400 is the maximum we can go. We're only at that particular digit. That would take us a long time to get all the way down to like say 200 if we wanted to 200 or 300. So let me go back to 400 and let me press this to change the location of the cursor. Let's say I wanted to go to 300. I can just go there and then press the down arrow. And I've done that in sort of one, one easy step. So I've showed you how to uh, change your frequency. I've showed you the, the modes that, it, um, that you can have in here. And also how to change forward and reverse. Uh, your main buttons are going to be, this is sort of the menu select and also the cursor uh, change. Um, and any at any time you're in a, uh, in a different mode. If you're like in a mode that you're changing the um, this you can also press stop to go back to the the modes for the uh, for where, where you are in, um, according to these these LEDs and like again if you press jog you can change between forward and reverse um, you can always change your your frequency using the up and down arrows and using uh, this button to change the location press stop to go back to the mode and you can press um, this button again to change modes you can see these constantly changing. And if you have a question on um, what mode you're in, 
and what this mode does, you can always go back to the go back to the manual, and there's a list of of those modes and and what it displays or what you can change.